Hey readers, it's Mrs. Pape and Little Dougie. If you don't know Little Dougie, well, he's the groundhog that lives in Mrs. Pape's class. Anyways, I wanted to jump on here today with Little Dougie. He's my reading partner. And I want to tell you one more superpower. It's partner power. A long time ago, I shared with you how it's really important to have a reading partner. Reading partners can be anyone. It's really fun to read with a friend or a family member. So when you do partner power, you guys can do some really cool things together. One of the things that you can do at home is find a partner and show them how to use your pointer power. You know what? One partner could point to the words and the other partner could read the words their partner is pointing to. Let's try. Now, little Dougie is really shy when he's reading and his voice is really quiet, so you might not be able to hear him. So I will help him, okay? So I'm going to point to the words and I'll listen to little Dougie and I'll see if he did it right. Are you ready, little Dougie? All right, get your reading pointers ready. Oh, do you need a pointer, little Dougie? Hold on. Little Dougie needs his pointer power. So remember, boys and girls, if you have a finger pointer, you can just slip that on. Oh, look, <laughs> little Dougie's finger is almost going to fall off. Be careful, little Dougie. Okay, he has his pointer power ready. All right, ready? I'll point, little Dougie. All right, eyes this way. Here we go. You did it. Watch. I pointed and he read these words. The geese live around the pond. Okay. Now, little Dougie, you read the next, you point to the next page. Ready? The, I'll, I'll read the words while you point. Here we go. The frogs live around the pond. Wow, he did really great pointing. I don't think you could see because the book was blocking. But he pointed to each word, and I read it. Cool. That's a really cool way to read. Okay, little Dougie, let's try it again. You point. Okay, point, and I'll read. One tap per word. Okay, here we go. A bird lives around the pond. He almost forgot to keep pointing. Okay, so he did it again. A bird lives around the pond. Great job, little Dougie. I'll point this time. Ready? You read. I know you have a quiet voice, but here we go. Okay. He said, a turtle lives around the pond. I pointed and he read. So boys and girls, this is a really cool thing to do with your partner. Practice pointer power together. Your partner can point and you say the words, or you point and your partner can say the words. All right, hopefully your partner can read a little bit louder than Mr. Dougie here. All right, super readers, have fun reading with a partner and activating your pointer power. Bye.